The title of my message is Confronting Witchcraft Spiritually. Christians don't understand the assignment of the devil. He comes to steal, to kill, or to destroy. That's his assignment. So the devil wants to kill you. I think it's a very good starting point. The devil wants you dead. Okay? Firstly, he wants to steal from you. He wants to steal your destiny. He wants to steal your breakthroughs. He wants to steal your opportunities. He wants to steal your husband. He wants to steal your wife. He wants to steal your joy. He wants to steal your peace. He wants to steal everything that concerns you. After he has stolen it from you, then you are frustrated. Then he's going to go for the kill. Pay attention. He's going to go for the kill. So he comes to steal, number one. Then he comes to kill. After he has killed you, imagine he's not finished. Then he comes in for destruction. Now, that means he's now going after your children. He's going, he does not only go after your prosperity, he goes after your posterity. Then he wants to destroy your name. Anything associated with you, anyone who could have continued with your lineage, he wants to destroy. So he comes to steal, number one. He comes to kill, number two. Then he comes to destroy. To utterly destroy. So the devil is not playing games. And unfortunately, many Christians are playing games with the devil that is not playing games with them. Delilah was trying to kill Samson. Samson was playing with Delilah. Could it be you are playing with someone who is assigned to kill you? You are not having fun. They are positioning themselves. And Delilah, the first thing she asks is, where do you draw your strength from? So be careful who is around you. Who is a witch? A witch is Delilah. Someone close to you. Someone close to you. Why does the devil use witches? Witches are the closest beings uh, to humans that he wants to afflict. So he needs agents planted around you to destroy you. Simple. And there are those who don't believe in witchcraft. So are you saying that you don't believe in the Bible? Because there's witchcraft in the Bible. I'll show you. Witchcraft is there, whether you believe it or not. This is not one of those things that you need to have faith for. Whether you're faithful, witchcraft or not, is there. Whether you like it or not, is there. So it must be dealt with. And witchcraft does not go away because of time. And then you have those who say, I'm born again, I'm a child of God. You see, when you are born again, you are born again for yourself. The witches in your family were not born again the day you were born again. Are you here? Are you here? Are you here? Yeah, stop waving, stop waving born again at, at witchcraft. Jesus said it is finished, but how many know it is not finished? <laughs> the Bible says we have not yet, New Testament, we have not yet seen all things under our feet. We have not yet seen it. If Jesus says it was finished and it meant what you think it means, why are you sick today? It's not finished. What was finished was the solution. But just because there are drugs in the pharmacy does not mean that you are healed. You have got to take those drugs and administer them. So Jesus made available the solution on the cross of Calvary. It is up to you to gain knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and spiritual power to take what was done in retrospect on the cross of Calvary and bring it to today. Can you imagine? Jesus says it is finished in Matthew. But in Ephesians, Paul says we wrestle. Thousands of years later, after Jesus said it is finished, Paul says we wrestle. Finally, my brethren, be strong. Why should you be strong if Jesus has finished everything? So these are doctrines of demons uh, uh, that are released to Christians so that they produce lazy Christians that will become victims. The devil is not playing. Quite a lot of relax. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, the first to get married. You are married, so what? The devil is saying, okay, you won round, round one. Now round two. Let's see if you can have a child. Round three. Let's see if you stay married. Round four. Let's see if you can stop your husband from getting another woman. Round five. Let's see if you don't go back. Yeah, yeah, you are relaxed at round one. <laughs> it's harder to stay married than to get married. I know you don't believe it because you are single. Have you sown a seed to stay married? But there's someone who's sacrificing to take your husband. Have you taken, have you sown a seed to stay married? Or you are just thinking of projects? <laughs> there's a witch that has made your husband a project. Operation Dispossess. Great. There's a connection between witchcraft and harlotry. Chihure chakawanda chine witchcraft mkat. Naum 3, verse 1 to 4. Kala basati la ramahaya. Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. Its victims never depart. Next verse. The Noise of a whip and the noise of rattling wheels of galloping horses. Of clattering chariots. Next verse. Horsemen charged with bright sword and glittering spear. There is a multitude of slain. COVID is not just the only one. A great number of bodies. Countless corpses. They stumble over the corpses. The Lord showed me the devil is planning to take out many people before the end of the year. Please beware. Next verse. Because, why? Of the multitude of hallowed trees, of the seductive hallowed, the mistress of sorcery. So she's not just a mistress, she's involved in sorcery. Yeah. Connection between Chihure and Uroi. You are dating a witch. Honey? Uh, it's not honey. It's witch. Okay. There are people who just love sex. It's a weakness. Hello? Then there are people who have sex out of wickedness. These are two different departments. There's sex for pleasure. Then there's sex to afflict. Unora Roshko for a business. It could be the most expensive sex you've ever had. It cost you a whole business model. <laughs> I hope it was worth it. When they sleep with you, I'm talking witches. Hello? When you release Whatever you release, it is the essence of who you are. From what you release, we can go and form another human being. So you have released yourself. So when they take that and they put it on a satanic altar, then she goes to clean out with a cup and removes who you are, who you released. And put it on a satanic altar. What do you think will become of your destiny? Where have you released yourself? And then, this is men. Then there are women. You allow a, 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 a wizard to deposit himself in you. That's another battle. Mistress of sorceries. Listen to this. Who sells nations. So, national leaders can sell the nation with harlotry of mistresses. There are women assigned to bring down nations.
Go and watch Kanana James Bond. Go and watch movies. When they're trying to get to some guy who's being a problem, they just release a woman. Who's assigned to you? Who sells nations through a hallow trees and families through a sorcery. So families can be destroyed by hallow tree through witchcraft. The number, oh, but the number of, of, of messages I get on my phone every single day. Man of God, pray for me. My husband left. He's, now doesn't even, he's not even taking my calls. We have three children together. At least if you fight with your wife, we can understand. You know, yeah, you, want, you want space. Which man in his right sense wants space from his children? That means it's no longer just about sex. There is another operation that is taking place. It's called witchcraft. It can make you ignore your children. Over someone you met two weeks ago, you ignore your children. How old are your children? 16 years old. Are you telling me two weeks has superseded 16 years you've been with your child? That's witchcraft. And he does not go away by counseling. Men of God, talk to him. Talk to him about what? So, yeah, it's not right for you to ignore your family. Please, can you just come, come to your senses and go back to... Look at your wife. She's very beautiful. What's wrong with you, Oga? Oga says, this man, he does not know Sudavadis and Rukitra. Now, Jezebel. Jezebel was trained in Chinangwari. Men of God does not understand Chinangwari. They don't know Chinangwari. That's why they're not laughing. <laughs> Chimeza, they don't know Chinangwari. They don't understand. Why am I preaching this? It's a warning to someone. And it's a rescue for someone else. The world we live in, wickedness is increasing. The world we live in, wickedness is increasing. Even if you change neighborhood, there's a witch in every neighborhood. First John 5, I think verse 19, the Bible says the whole world lies in, da, in, in, in wickedness. The whole world. Wickedness. <laughs> Even in your family where everyone looks pious and everyone looks sanctimonious. There are witches in every family, including yours. In fact, in fact especially yours. That's why the, some of the most, most educated people are some of the most frustrated people. Because they thought they could fight poverty with education. You can't fight poverty with education. Education is so we can open you up to spiritual information so you can fight witchcraft. The moment you're a breadwinner, they want to shoot you down from the witch coven. And then some of you are very emotional. What did I do to them? What did I do to them? I know you're saying but I mean, it doesn't really make sense to me. What did I do to them? What did I... Oga, you just need to be born in Africa. You were born on the wrong continent. <laughs> Maybe if you were born in Sweden. Africa! The day you are born, they want you dead. The day you are born, they are looking for you. You are a wanted man and a wanted woman. You, you. They are looking for you in the witch coven. They are surprised they are still alive. When will he die? They have sent enough spiritual arsenal to kill you. They are, they are shocked. You are still there. I said to God, God, why did you say suffer not a wish to live? Exodus 22 verse 18 to 20. Why, why did you say that? I mean, you are all God. You could have stopped them. He says they will never stop. They will never stop. Wickedness does not go on its own. Wickedness does not go over time. Time is not a solution. Time is a revealer. Don't say time will tell. Time will just tell that you are bewitched. That's what time will tell us. Not good, the problems are solved because of time. Fight the good fight of faith. It's a fight. Business is a fight. 
Ashe. How many people went to business school and they closed businesses? Did they not learn how to keep businesses open in business school? We're not going to teach you a deal in a certain. I'm not too man. You are going to stay, but I'm not going to too man. I'm going to go I don't believe this. Doctor Ramad, and you spend three years paying off a debt created by one transaction. Why you don't want to tithe? You tithe emotionally when you feel like. What about when you don't feel like? What is happening in the spirit? Hey, witchcraft is public enemy number one. Public enemy number one is witchcraft. Public enemy number one. Enemy to your destiny. That has reduced Max. It has reduced you to what we see. This is not you. You have been reduced by witchcraft. Destiny is choked by the enemy. Being fed at night by wizards. You wake up sick. There's what is called the mystery of a hole in the wall. It's there in Ezekiel. A hole in the wall. I know you have put 10 bricks as a wall. Doesn't stop witches. They can come in. There's another realm of spirituality where like Jesus, you can walk through a wall. Have you not seen me at your house? I walk out are asking, have you not seen me at your house? Did I come this physically? So just because you are limited spiritually doesn't mean everyone is limited. Are you listening to me? There are people under the sound of my voice who can say, man of God, I was in trouble. You just showed up. If I'm talking about you, raise your hand. I don't know your address. But I'll show up there spiritually if you are connected. So this thing is serious. Wednesday, after, just after the service, someone was preaching you to the church because I was dealing with witchcraft and we made a pronouncement that one of the things that must happen is Pharaoh must die, whether it's accident or whatever it is. Do you remember? After the service, one young man came to show me a picture. He says, ah, man of God, this is Pharaoh in my family. accident, dead. You think I'm here to play games? I'm not here to speak poems. Pastor Mike, you've read your Bible, but let me ask you a question. From that, your Bible. I don't know, Zani. Joseph, he said, Don't leave my bones in Egypt. Why? That's, more, that, that's, 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 that's Joseph. Then, after Moses died, Pakata Hondo, your body. Hello? And God knowing this, Jesus died, was buried. There were angels protecting the body. Why? It's in your Bible. Why? Because the, de the, the devil needs bodies to use. Dead or alive. He can't operate independent of bodies. Why? You know, they go as a family. They need a body. Why is there so much drama in media circles with my undertaker? Body parts missing, this body missing. It's not a mistake. I'm with a mistake in a body. I don't care who you are. They are not, they, that's my mistake. There are covenants between undertakers and the witchcraft world. That is the water that is used to bewitch you as a husband. By your wife. And that will push it. So you are now a dead person. You have, you've, been, you've been baptized with water from the dead. Meanwhile, you can't pray in tongues. 
demon, that's a dara. They are not for this age. <laughs> it's the water that you drink killed your spiritual life. You ever end up not even liking the product that you create through witchcraft, trying to control your husband. You're quiet. Why are you trying to control your husband? Why don't you pray for God to control him? In trying to control your husband, you visit witch covens. You get one concussion, you feed him. What they did not tell you is the side effects of whatever you give him. Unumpa, unumbikira, you have just removed him from being the head to being the tail. Saka, sisirim soro. Uruguni dakuru siswa. Your problem is not economical. Your problem is detail. You, you. <laughs> women don't understand. You think that we can control women? Don't tell us how not. I don't want to go to Pesra because I saw how but I see my. I'm talking about witchcraft. <laughs> the devil just sent one agent. Come, come, come. I want to introduce you to someone. As pastor. As I know, I'm not going to go You just focus on the goal. I don't know what to do. Whatever the concussion is, you cook it for him. Uh, there's something that is in men. It's a, it's a fire that is in men. That's what drives them to go in the marketplace and win. So, you've removed the winner in him in the name of solving domestic problems. Women don't understand. Okay, let's take the witchcraft and put it aside. Even the way you address your husband, just the way you address him, is not scriptural. It's not scriptural. When you speak down onto your husband, you are bringing him down in the realm of the spirit. So that man is no longer strong on the market. If you are not a king in your house, you are not a king on the market. So those on the Imi Kubasa. You are still Iwe. Charity begins at home. Respect begins at home. Authority begins at home. Kingship begins at home. You thought it was just charity. Dominion begins at home. Why do you think the Bible said if a man cannot be in charge of his household, he must not try to be in charge in the church. Why? The Bible knew that you have already been dethroned. What a total watching dream of spirit could dara. Would I not think about the money? I waka, would I think about the money? You are a total watching dream of Kumba. The first church is your house. So you have failed in that cell group of your house to be the leader. Now you want to lead the whole congregation, you want to lead the whole company. If your girlfriend does not respect you, don't marry her. I know she's just very aggressive. I said, don't marry her. She's domineering. She's trying to dethrone you. Saka, how is this Zimbabwe market? Uka is a proposal. I tell her we. Uka tell us you know ignore her. Say my ignore her. I need to name cards. I go kumba. It's another form of hidden witchcraft. There are women that are bewitching their husbands with their mouth. 
I know a man who used to be in charge in the mining industry. His wife bewitched him to control him because she feared that some other women would take him. The man was now reduced to being the driver of the wife. Go and buy bread. Go and buy milk. Go, because he was fired. Ultimately, your bosses will not continue to tolerate this version of you that has been created by your wife. You will never see this woman disrespect me. I can be as wrong as two left shoes. But she will never disrespect me. There's a way to do it. To send a message without disrespecting me and dethroning me. Your husband is no longer a man. He's now your skivvy. Go and Google skivvy. Now he's washing plates. The husband washing plates. I have three maids at my house. Then wife. Hello? Then all the girls in my house. Then I must be found. A whole king and priest. It's not, it's not helping your wife to wash plates. It's spiritual foolishness. You have been dethroned. Yeah, no, it's just, you know, you need to help her. Yeah, help her with bills, not plates. Kutodwera, duty roster. Wednesday, Baba Duano Acha. Thursday, Baba no Aina. Ah! You are responsible for your husband's poverty. Shut up. So your husband can make some money. Listen to me. If you can't make decisions in your home, you are not permitted to make decisions on the marketplace. They will soon fire you. Because you take that system. You don't understand. Why is it that Adam lost the garden because he handed over authority to Eve. She made decisions in conjunction with the serpent. So he was thrown out of the garden. I won't mention names, but if I say it, you'll understand it. There's a leader who has taken out of power recently because the wife was now in charge. In power for years. No one ever thought you'd lose power. Until the wife began to speak. You put the mess together. You are practicing the same thing. You don't read your Bible. Abraham was called Lord by Sarah. Not Iwe, Lord. I can stand here and give you examples from that your Bible that you don't read. Vashti was thrown out. She refused kingly instructions. The elders set the king down. That's what they did about that other one I was referring to. The elders set him down said oh god this this behavior this behavior this behavior yeah you need a solid mind that's why you as a man you need to man up unet a decision toso consult out to eat my adjustments happy but decision right but the school fees name cards you have you are not a man, you are a boy. If you are man enough to impregnate a woman, you should be man enough to pay school fees. 
Mada, ningi, mada, ane school fees ya papa pindi. She was not sure. Did you pay school fees ever now? Iwe. So women, stop dethroning your husband with your mouth. That's why the Bible says it's better. Kunuta ka address corner of roof top than mukaza no taulis. That scripture already tells you that Aucha Karamumbaga, because of big mouth, you no longer have a house. Waku renta pa kona pe roof. As long as you don't correct this thing in your home, you never buy a house. Because to be a, to own a house, you are called a landlord. So if the Lord has been removed, even if you have land, you can't build it. That was for free. And as a man, be respectable. Make a plan. Stop crying. You're not a baby. If you a man cries, come on, Take charge of your home spiritually. I woke up this morning under attack from demons. I said, no devil will take, will attack my house while I'm sleeping as a man. I wake up as the priest of the house and take authority. What kind of a man are you? That you're allowing a spirit husband to sleep with your wife right next to you. You take your hand, you put it on the womb of your wife. And say there's no demonic entry permitted here. That's a real man. A real man takes charge. Your wife must know. There's a voice that your wife must know that no, no, no. You can be allowed to do this, but there's a, there's a time you say, hey. Not, hey. Many demons are running rampage in homes. Because there's no order in the home. I'll say it again. If your girlfriend is very bossy, don't marry her. The best you can do is to submit it for deliverance here. And you a woman, you have a spirit of anger. Submit yourself for deliverance. When a man marries a woman with a spirit husband, that spirit husband will make the natural husband broke. Simple. So that the natural wife is frustrated with you. Spirit husband is not just one sexual encounter. It's got to do with your money. Spirit wife will always slap the natural wife. I don't care. Yeah. Oh, spirit wife. So a husband must fight the spirit husband in the life of his wife. A wife must fight the spirit wife in the life of her husband. Then there can be peace in that home. Oh, we need to fight witchcraft. It must be fought, not tolerated. The rotten teach guy. It's not a bri, it's satanic feeding. Go feed Wakarara is never a good thing, even if you're eating chocolate cake. Do you know how the enemy pastor is, 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 is a master at bringing down your guard. So he will offer you your favorite food in a dream. It's called night feeding. Night feeding must be dealt with. Many people with spiritual complications in their stomach think that they cannot explain. It started with night feeding. It's not a good thing to be eating when you are sleeping. It's, it's never good. It must be fought. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Waking up with scratches on your body or marks on your body, you can't even remember. Now you have a big mark. It's a satanic mark. It's a satanic handwriting. 
the enemy has put them back on you so you can come back. So those things need to be rubbed spiritually. I'm talking about witchcraft. Witchcraft must be destroyed. Put up that scripture in Micah. He says, I will cut off witchcraft. I will cut off witchcraft. Micah 5.12 I will cut off witchcraft. Plural. I will cut it off. Whether it's Delilah witchcraft, I will cut it off. Whether it's family witchcraft, I will cut it off. Whether it's church witchcraft, I will cut it off. The witchcraft that wants to eat a baby in a womb, he said, I will cut it off. I will cut it off. I will cut it off. It must be cut off, not tolerated. It must be cut off. So If you are in business, yeah, and if we ask you to bring out 5,000 US dollars and you can't bring it out, it means that you are not in business in the spirit. If your business produces as much as some people earn salaries, you are not yet in business. Yes, 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 yes. You've got a Sierra 14. You've got a certificate of incorporation. So you are registered in the natural, but in the spirit you have not been registered. A business person is a king for God's sake. And kings have got treasuries. So it means there are powers that are assigned to reduce you from a state of productivity to a state of inactivity. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it must be fought spiritually. You need to fight for your business destiny. You need to fight for your financial destiny. You need to fight and break these limitations. Some of you are in prison spiritually. And in the book of Acts, chapter number 16, verse 24 and 25, they were in prison. And at midnight, what happens? They prayed. Watch this. They didn't just pray until they felt good. No. They prayed until the foundations of the prison were shaken. So, you, you, listen to me. You have not prayed until you have shaken the foundations of witchcraft. Ay, 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 ay. Today, in the name of Jesus, and by the power of the Holy Ghost, by these prayers, we shake the foundation of witchcraft. I said we shake the foundation of witchcraft. I said we shake the foundation of witchcraft. I said we shake the foundation. Give me 26. Okay, remain in 25. Listen to this. And they were praying, and the prisoners, they heard them. These are witchcraft prayers. Pray at midnight. You don't pray quietly. And the other prisoners, they heard them. Can I say that? Can I spiritual warfare? You open your mouth, you are not a cat. The prisoners heard them. If your neighbors have never heard you pray, you have not prayed. They were prisoners. That means that they were not yet free. The kingdom of darkness must hear your prayers. Some things I'm preaching. I'm delivering someone right now in the realm of the spirit. I said the realm of the spirit must hear you when you pray. The Bible says the effectual words are fervent prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available. So power is made available by aggressive prayers. Not the soft, sanctimonious prayer of a powerless man of God. No. Why can you call the name of someone and the demonic power in Yvonne just begins to go, to go wild, to go wild just by mentioning her name. The effectual, fervent prayer. There are prayers I did behind the scenes. It is what you do behind the scenes. 
that can give you power to confront the powers in Kundai Willis life the power in Tendai's life they are confronted blessing behind you they are confronted if you just mention the name so bring quiet prayers November every midnight you are up listen to me church every midnight in November you are up why because there are things that the enemy does while men slept while men are sleeping there's a demon that comes to choke you are you listening to me so you don't sleep in a season where the enemy is trying to choke you. Where you go? White prayed midnight because while men slept, an enemy came and did this. There are things that are happening in your life. They have no natural explanation, crucifix, because an enemy has done it. Where did the back pain come from? You didn't carry heavy things. Look at me. Look at that scripture. And said, but while men slept, his enemy, you have a personal enemy. His enemy. What did his enemy do? He came and planted tears. Now, do you know where the confusion is? You don't know who did it. Why? Because of the next part of the verse. And he went his way. And he went his way. There are people who can come to your house. Tatenda, please go behind the catch, catch, catch right there. There are people who can come to your house. And when they come to your house, when they leave your house, they leave spiritual complications. They can leave things and activate them three months later. They come there, they just complicate your life. So now could also reconcile. Could I have a uncle who happened about three months ago? He went his way. Whoever came to your house, be it naturally or spiritually, and afflicted you and went his way. Whatever they did in your house, whatever they did in your office, whatever they did we nullify it today 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 Listen to this. The assignment of witchcraft is about fivefold, but I'll give you three. Witchcraft powers want to manipulate. Say manipulation. Your mind can be manipulated by witchcraft. A lot of the thoughts that you have are not your own. Unofungirwa oitiswa. That's why he said in Galatians 3, I think verse 1, and who bewitched you? That you no longer obey the truth. 
They are saying this kind of witchcraft is serious. I mean, if Paul had to ask the question, who bewitched you? That means they didn't know. Every unknown witch. <laughs> that question of who bewitched you? Who bewitched you, Yvonne? Who, who bewitched you? Who bewitched you? Who, be, who bewitched you? Who bewitched you that you make bad decisions? Who bewitched you? When you don't obey the truth, it means you make wrong decisions. Lift up your right hand. Say, Jehovah God, I ask a question in the realm of the spirit. Who bewitched me that I make these bad decisions? Who is controlling my mind that I make bad decisions? Who bewitched me? Whoever is under the sound of my voice and is under the control of who bewitched you, of unknown witches and wizards, today I release power in the realm of the spirit. Everyone being bewitched by unknown witches. It's difficult to fight an enemy you don't know. My father, my God, I release that question in the realm of the spirit. Who bewitched you? Lata baka talabahaya. Yeah, Lucy behind you. Who believes Melissa? Melissa Shidame. Who bewitched Melissa Shidame? Who? Who did that? Who did that? The Lagata Shidis also. Larebe get it. Riando Labahaya. Who bewitched? Bring her here. Bring her here. Bring all the people manifesting here. Bring them here. Ah, Shaza Talabahaya. Just bring them here to the deliverance ground. Just leave them there. Yeah, who bewitched you? who bewitched you just bring her here who bewitched you who bewitched you Yvonne whoever it is 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 who bewitched you 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 look at this look at this when you read scripture you must read it like you're man of God Joshua let me show you something you have not seen from that same scripture he tells us the result all oh, foolish Galatians so when we look at foolishness it's a product of witchcraft whoever manipulated your mind we take back control we take back control we take back control of your mind 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 look at me i'm understanding a mystery <laughs> And an enemy did this. Look at me. And an enemy came and did this. This one. Matthew 13. Right? And then he went his way. This one. Then Paul comes and says, We have seen the foolishness. So who did this? In other words, Diani Akaita is again. In other words, thank you, Lord. Paul is saying, Whoever bewitched you, who bewitched you? <laughs> Today, we go into the realm of the spirit. I suggest you kneel down. And we command the heavens to show us the one who is wanted. The one who bewitched Kagamba, Tirukumutraga, Tirukumutraga, Nebutika Samuana, Tukasakwana, Tirukuda, Tirukumutraga, Munakakuroya, Tirukumutraga. Today I open up uh, the veil uh, from the realm of the spirit uh, and we say, Ye Akakuroya, Ye Akakuroya, Tirukumutraga, Akakuroya, Mkwenya, Nemkazuako, Tirukumutraga, Tirukumutraga, Gawa Nikwe. Gawa nikwe Iye ya kakutra Gawa nikwe Gawa nikwe 
Ava kwanza kuanda Gawa ni kwe 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 Tukasa muana zunazichinje Gawa ni kwe Gawa ni kwe Who be with you They must be found Lift up your right hand Say Lord Whoever bewitched me must be found. Say, Lord, open up the books in the realm of the Spirit. Whoever was recorded, whoever was recorded as the one who bewitched me, though I do not know, the realm of the Spirit knows. Angels, find the one who bewitched me. Find the one bucket who bewitch me. Find the one who bewitch me. Find the one who bewitch me. Listen to me. Listen to me. The Lord showed me a mystery. His mystery is powerful. Go to I didn't even write it down. Holy Spirit help me. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Go to First Kings 18. Gentlemen, please. 1 Kings 18 from round about uh, verse 36, 37 where the first thing that happens Joe, listen, this will help you he called for a sacrifice this one, right and then after the sacrifice fire came down from heaven am I right? right after fire came down from heaven listen to the progression he called for a sacrifice the sacrifice was put on the altar then he called for fire to come down from heaven fire came down from heaven then after that what did he do then fire consumed the burnt sacrifice then after that listen to what he said he says look for the false prophets and seize them so in other words there is a seizing of wanted witches after you sacrifice you hear you hear about sacrifice after you sacrifice you can catch them did you catch that mystery did you catch it so 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 the one stealing your money whatever is happening to your money there's somebody behind it Never mind what the customers are doing. There's somebody behind the scenes. So to catch them, we put a sacrifice on the altar. Because if we don't catch them, it will be this customer, then another customer, then another customer. Can you see where we make a mistake? Then you fight the customer instead of seizing the one who does his things and he goes his way. So when you, there's a sacrifice you can put on the altar that says I want to catch them. I, I, I don't have time to explain it, but, but, but maybe I'll work this on Sunday. But, but, but look at this. Look at the progression. Sacrifice. Fire from heaven. Again, you can't, you can't effectively use the fire of the Holy Ghost until a sacrifice is on. Can you see the progression? So when I sacrifice on the altar, fire is released from heaven. It does not only consume the sacrifice. It's also the same fire that is used on the false prophets. So there is a fire. That's why I say to you, sacrifice does not just deal with your financial issues. It also deals with witchcraft. So before Elijah could seize the false prophets, a sacrifice was required. This is where we are having a problem. We have been trying to catch them without sacrifice. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. We need the right sacrifice so we can catch them. So when we put that sacrifice on the altar, Malos Esaia, witchcraft, yes, you know, Parara. After the sacrifice, what did he say? Seize them. Seizing means there are false prophets in your life. 
there are witches in your life there's the occult in your life that need to be seized <laughs> you put a sacrifice on the altar so whoever is causing this issue with your sugar we seize them we seize them we seize them and ending problems is because there's no sacrifice after this now we can seize them <laughs> bring, bring. now we can seize them so we disempower them using the strength of your sacrifice so if you withhold the sacrifice there's no way you can give the fire and at the Oh God, help us, help us, help us. I now pay a question. Number one, sacrifice. Number two, fire from heaven to consume the sacrifice. Number three, seize the false prophets. Number four, they burn those false prophets with fire. If you read your Bible. And then from there, listen to what then happens, Rich. Then I hear the sound of abundance same chapter i mean i'd never seen this i saw this this morning so we've been calling for abundance before we seize them package your sacrifice we want to catch them i said we want to catch them package your sacrifice so we can catch them package your sacrifice so we can catch them package your sacrifice so we can catch them so we can seize them so we can seize them at kwase kubata kana pasina sacrifice we need to seize them we need to seize them we need to seize them i'm trying to help you we need to seize them we need to seize them never again with these legs have an issue i said we need to seize them we need to seize them we need to seize them Listen to what will happen this November. Listen. Don't let anyone have to force you to sacrifice. It must be out of understanding. I have given a sacrifice before. Uh -huh. We didn't seize them. By the right sacrifice, we will seize them. We will seize them. We will seize them. thousand or not old. You have a millionaire's destiny. If we don't seize them, we need to seize them. We need to seize them. If we seize them, your marriage will be secure. If we seize them, your marriage will be secure. If we seize them, I said your marriage will be secure. If you seize them, your marriage will be secure. If we seize them, your health will be secure. If we seize them, your finances will be secure. If we seize them, your destiny will be secure. I refuse. Kuramba. Ndakabata chini chini ya solve our problem yangu. Chiri musafe. I refuse. I refuse. See. Urwana. Abata sacrifice. I know what I'm telling you. Bring it here. I know what I'm telling you. I know what I'm telling you. I know what I'm telling you. Money manipulation. Money manipulation, no more. I said, No more money manipulation. 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 As you package your seed, I declare and I decree there must be a switch. Look at me, look at me. Switch. Switch, switch. I said switch. I said switch. Argu broka. Ianga shansa Maria ko argu broka. Argu broka. Sa mashata mahaya. Leki de bakata mahare. Raise your right hand. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. I know they hate this church. It's because of what's happening here. 